first of all, I'm going to talk about a movie, a movie directed by John Carpenter called They Live, and it stars Rowdy Roddy Piper in. And this is a movie, 1988, this movie was released. It's a science fiction movie. Basically, the premise of the story is um, Piper's character, he um, he's like this homeless guy coming to a new city, and basically he sees like some weird ongoings going on, and basically he then discovers these these sunglasses that reveal in society aliens are living in our society, and they're basically running society that they are like the high society and the we're all basically being manipulated and it's like him then trying to take down uh the obviously aliens on, on, on in the city and on planet earth and uh, it's a really really like one i'd heard about heard of for years never got around to checking out but was really interested in watching and going into it i didn't really know whether it was like a horror or a, a sci-fi, I didn't really know it was a sci-fi movie. To be honest, I I I kind of heard it. I again, I heard little bits of it, but I didn't know the full story of the, of the movie. But it's a it's a really good film. It's a I I would say it's a movie that is the pace of it. It's it's a very slow movie. I think it is a slow movie to to begin with, but I feel like it's a slow movie that's worthy of the watch. I think uh, if you give it the time, uh, it is a, a really a really good watch, a really good film. Uh, I really like the story. I think Piper's really good in it in this film. Uh, I've not seen any other Piper movies, him featuring as as a as a actor, but he's really good in this. He doesn't really say all that much, but he does have one awesome line. Basically, he goes into a bank after he get, he's got these sunglasses on. Goes into a bank and he can see like the aliens in in the obviously there's aliens and humans in our society in our society here, and he goes into this bank and the line he has is. I have come. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubble gum. And then he just starts shooting up in this bank. And I just think that that was a, just a line just clicked with me straight away. I thought oh, that, that is such a cool line. What an awesome line! Uh, but yeah, he, he's awesome in this. He's a really. Um, I mean, I, I I'd be interested to watch some more of him in in other movies now. Uh, there was a movie, something about fro- something like a. Frogtown or something. It was on the Gaming Off the Grid channel. They had a monthly recap yesterday on their show, and I was watching that, and they they mentioned this something Frogtown, Escape from Frogtown, or something like that. And Piper's in that. It's meant to be a very low budget movie, but that's meant to be one that's quite funny to to watch. So that's maybe another one I'll have to check out. But let me know if you have any Piper movie recommendations. But it's really good. I, I think as well, it's. The premise of it as well, you got this in basically trying to destroy the aliens. But then you see also when he puts the glasses on, you can see that there's aliens, but you can also see like advertising boards that advertise things like holidays. He puts on the glasses and they just reveal to say obey. And we're, again, this is where the manipulation of the aliens is uh, to us as humans. And it's kind of, it feels. It's it works on two levels as this sci-fi movie, but also this movie against like consumerism in a way. And it's for a movie in the eighties, it feels like it's it's very um, you know looking now. It feels like you know the, all these advertising boards and everything. They are kind of like uh, <laughs> just like we are just like we should put the sunglasses on. It would we'll probably reveal it just says obey or something like that. Buy this product. Um, it's a really smart movie. I really it really. Um, Really a hidden gem as well. Really really is a hidden gem of a movie. That's They Live, well worth checking out if you've not seen it before. 